so thanks, Keith, for putting me after that. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a bit more like playing in the playground rather than what we <laughs> just had there, right? So <laughs> just to set expectations at the beginning. So uh, I just want to have a really brief overview of some of the changes in Apple Wireless Direct Link. Um, if you don't know what that is, that is Apple's P2P 802.11 protocol that's used for things like AirDrop and, and stuff like that. So, these are the things that Apple is using Apple Wireless Direct Link for. There are different ways that they are kind of being implemented and, and used and things like that. And I've highlighted three here because I can see a few people are like, well, this is great, but doesn't this only apply to places that have Apple everywhere? And my reply to that is, yeah, you're right, it does. And some of these are only between Mac OS and iOS or iPad OS and things like that. Um, but I'm pretty willing to bet that there are Apple devices, even if it's only iPhones, in pretty much every single network that we have, right? So the, the three big ones, AirDrop, AirPlay, and Universal Clipboard, these are things that you will probably come up against in your network, things that will be on your network and interfering with your network, and I'll, and I'll show you how that works in a second. The other ones are just cool things that only us Apple people get to play with. Uh, yeah, and I'll show you the continuity camera bit in a, in a second. So this is a quick kind of like matrix of the things that are, that are going on with Apple Wireless Direct Link and kind of how they work, right? So Fene did um, an incredible talk on Apple Wireless Direct Link uh, two years ago in Phoenix. So go and watch that uh, because this will make more sense when you've seen that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so the kind of three columns there. So we've got Apple Wireless Direct Link. That's the peer-to-peer the -peer bit, right? So there's no beacons. It's just, it's just done from device to device. Then I've put Wi-Fi, and by that I mean like the infrastructure. It's, it's actually going to go over the infrastructure instead. And then BLE. And most of the time, BLE is just used to initiate the session, right? To start the session, to make sure that you're close enough or, or something like that. So... The way that uh, Apple Wireless Direct Link uses, just very quick, briefly, is it uses channel 6, channel 44 in the EU, uh, well, outside of the US, and it uses channel 149 in the US. Uh, obviously, 44 and 149, it's 80 megahertz wide. Okay, so it's good for you to know that because then you can look out for it, right? And I will, I will show you uh, what it looks like in a second. So... Let me just get my notes. Uh, the, the way that it works is quite clever. So it will, it will hop uh, onto that channel. So your devices will hop onto that channel. And the way that it works is it uses your Apple ID. So it synchronizes all of your devices to hop to channel 44 or 149. So they're all doing that at the same time. And then it means that you can still be connected to the infrastructure, but also then still have this device to device connection happening. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to, to, to do was I basically did all of these things, captured it, in, uh, captured it with my NXG, and then went through the packets and, and, went and saw what was happening and, and what was happening with all those things. I don't have time to take you through all those things. If I had a longer talk, I would, I would take you through it all, but I don't. So what I want to do is just, show, just go through some of the notes that I've got on each one of these, uh, just little things that I found out and with what they're doing, right? So, AirDrop. It no longer uses the infrastructure. It used to use the infrastructure based on the channel width that the infrastructure was on. So if you had a 40 megahertz wide channel or an 80 megahertz wide channel, it would actually use those rather than going direct. Whereas now what happens is that it, it will always use the direct connection at, at 80 megahertz. So you might have seen that if you buy a new Apple iPhone, you can put them next to each other, you can scan the little cloud thing, and then it will send it across. That, that's using AirDrop. Um, and obviously you'll see that in, uh, on your networks if people are just sharing files between each other, right? Uh, and and there's, I haven't found a limit yet to the file size that you can send over that protocol. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so it's no longer using infrastructure, it's only, it's only doing everything. CarPlay is a bit of an interesting one because it, 
it's actually using the iPhone hotspot uh, protocol type thing with the car. Um, and so in my car, it's actually using channel six. It's not using the five gigahertz section, um, which I thought was interesting, probably because it's nice and cheap. Um, yeah, so that's using that, which is kind of why it's like semi grayed out, if that makes sense. Um, so the Wi-Fi, um, the Wi-Fi password sharing actually works. It, it, it uses the Apple Wireless Direct, Direct Link discovery mechanism. So that's why it will, you can only share a password with someone that's in your contacts. So it actually knows all of the other Apple Wireless Direct Link users around you and, and can show you that up. You can change that on your device and you can say, no, nah, let anyone talk to me, that's fine. Um, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, one of the other cool ones is the auto unlock. Uh, so with my, um, with my Mac, I, as long as I'm within three foot of the Mac, it knows from my watch and it will unlock the, the Mac. And it's, and it's actually using the BLE to know how far away from the device I am, but then it uses Apple Wireless Direct Link to actually send the stuff over to do it, which is cool. Um, right, then the next one that I wanted to share with you was the iPhone cellular calls. So this is where you, you receive a phone call and you can answer it on your device. So you can answer it on your iPad, you can answer it on your MacBook. That's actually using the infrastructure. It's not using Apple Wireless Direct Link at all. You have to be connected on, on both devices on the same network for that to work. I don't know why. I assumed that would be using Apple Wireless Direct Link, but it's not. So I thought I'd let you know that. The big one, the big new one, is this continuity camera. So I don't know if people have seen this, but if you've got iOS 16 and you've got Mac OS Ventura, you can now use your iPhone as your webcam. And we've all had apps where we could try and use our iPhone as our webcam, and they are, they suck, right? <laughs> they really suck. This does not suck. This is awesome. So if you have an 80 megahertz wide channel, so for instance, at home, I have an 80 megahertz wide channel, it will use the AP, it will use that channel, it will use that infrastructure. If you have a 40 or a 20, it will use Apple Wireless Direct Link. Um, so it's clever enough to actually to go across. And what's really interesting to me is that you can have something which is, uh, you know, channel hopping, and it's still a perfect picture, perfect HD picture all the time. No loss, no, no dropouts, no nothing. Um, it works really, really, really well. Um, yeah, so I've got um, a video of that that I literally did in between talks a minute ago, because I wanted to show you how well this works and how far you can go with continuity camera. Um, and I wanted to show you what was happening at the same time, right? So you can see here, this bottom chunk that's here, this is before I turned on continuity camera. And from one, you know, 120, that's when I turned continuity camera on. And you can see that, Channel 40 there is already busy. Right? It was already a lot of traffic happening on that thing. And this is, how, this is how Continuity Camera dealt with that. So this is a Zoom call on the right. Uh, and I'm just, I've pulled my phone out and I'm just looking at the phone. I'm then going to walk across the back here. Um, and you can see. So you can see what's happening and how much it's using. And the space in between right? on, the, on, the, on these other channels. And then as I walk, but, but you can see that the video feed is perfect. And you'd expect that maybe because I'm close to it, but in a second, I'm gonna get up and walk around with as many people as there are in here. And it's still working really well. And that is Apple Wireless Direct Link. There you go.